Welcome to RVing in New England, the nation's only forum that puts you on stage with some of the biggest names in the RV industry. And now your hosts, John DiPietro and Bob Zagami. There you go. And you do not have John DePietro tonight. So you like it or not, you only get Bob Zagami. But John is doing his grandfather duties. One of the young boys is graduating from pre-kindergarten, I think, this week. But have no fear, because when I'm not here, we have Bernie Colleton. Guess what? When John's not here, we have Bernie Colleton. So let me bring our friend Bernie up in front and center on the stage and see what, what's what. I'm in the mood for love, simply because you're near me, funny, but when you're Bernie. near me, Bernie. I'm in the mood. What? Bernie, oh. we're, we're live. Oh, oh, we're yeah. live. Well, I was just warming up a little bit in backstage. Sorry about that, guys. I, well, I, actually, yeah. I, thought you, I thought you were trying to imitate DePietro. Oh yeah, you sound actually. You sound better than DePietro. I would think so. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is kind of a kind of a special show. We, yeah. you know, we're going to talk about National Go RVing Day, and uh, hopefully the folks have seen some of the stuff that we've posted this week about them. And uh, what do you think about National Go RVing Day? And what do you have to say for the fans for it, Bernie? Yeah, you know, the thing, this is one of my favorite holidays in, in the RV industry. You know, there's so much going on, and the GoRVing.com website does so much to promote RVing. And it's kind of us as RV professionals or RVers to help perpetuate this promotion, right? So we have a little bit of a responsibility to let people know why this is so special. And I want to hear from you folks, too, because... It's really important for us to know why do you go RVing and why is it so important to your family? I want you guys to start pumping out some responses right now so we can get a handle on this and we can share the good news with everybody. So. All about go RVing. All right. Hey, that was a nice segue, Bob, but we don't have any answers yet. Guys, why do you love our being so much? But they will. But let, let me see. We should acknowledge who we got. Who, who came oh, in? Yeah. Look at that. Bill Sell rocking, rocking the Bob's tunes. Bill Sell was right there, first in line. Jerry comes in second place. Hello from Cape Cod. Watching watching the network news freak out about what amounts of smoke from a big campfire. It was in fact a campfire, a carelessly, a careless camper uh, assisted by some lightning. So you're right. And Jim Roy, good evening, Bob and uncle Bernie. I'm early tonight. You are Jim. That that's true. Good job, Jim. Yeah. And uh, Jim Convoy evening. All where's the show evening. All where's the show. <laughs> Yeah, we were a little bit late, but that's okay. You know, they got to hear me sing. So wait, I sometimes I can go live right away. Sometimes I like to wait a little while to see if we got a couple of people there. That's it. Bill, Uncle Bernie. Yeah. Jerry Plant. We go to see things that we're interested in. Okay, now that now we get he's he's yeah. Now we're getting some answers. Responding to your question. Uh, but, well, like like what, Jerry? What what are some of the things you're interested in, and uh, and you know, why is it so important to you to do all these things? Oh, he, Jim gets a chance to relax, clear his mind, socialize with friends, drink a lot. There you go. That's the spirit. And speaking of spirits, Bob has his glass of whiskey right next to him. Yeah, don't, and have don't, a great food. Jim, and by the way, Jim is Jim is also a Tennessee squire. That's our He's private. a Tennessee squire. He's a Tennessee so, squire. Yeah, right. Bob's thinking about nominating me, but I guess I have to actually show up with more whiskey at, and more often. But uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. I don't like to drink and talk at the same time because I fought by four of my words. But <laughs> anyway, uh, Don Pat Moss, 
Yeah. You're still, are you still in Texas? I thought you were supposed to be coming back to New England until next Thursday, then heading to New England. Apologize for the lateness. Okay, so wow. he's finally, he is finally heading heading back to New England. That's that's good news there. Yes. Yeah. You know, and that's like the earliest apology I've ever seen at, at 707. I think that's pretty phenomenal. That's Since possible. we were two minutes late. That's possible. That's yeah. that possible. Um, uh, what we do, have, like I said, John's at his grandson's graduation. We do have a video that he sent in because, you know, Go RVing is not only RVs and dealers, but also the campgrounds that we like to frequent. So if you have favorite campgrounds, uh, by all means, put those in the comments also, because uh, you might have a, a hidden gem. Now, if you have a hidden gem that you don't want anybody else to know about, they probably shouldn't put that in, right, Bernie? Oh, absolutely. You know, but I love Jerry Plant's answer because, you know, a lot of what I think about and when I'm working with my customers and stuff, you know, camping and RVing is a real American kind of thing. And a lot of true Americans do RV. A lot of, um, you know, whether it be police, the military and veterans of all types. But he goes to the Air Force Museum, Cape Canaveral, Dodge City, Natchez Trace Parkway. You know, and I love the diners, drive-ins, and dives diners. Those are beautiful little restaurants. What a great thing to do oh, yeah, for absolutely. the country, right? You keep you keep a list of those with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Yep. So at any rate, so, uh, so what else we got? What are, what other reasons do we camp? Well, one of, one of the things that I've been doing all week, and, and folks, if you've seen them, let me know so that I know that some of the things that we do are getting to you, but I've been posting an awful lot of National Go RVing Day posts from some of our dealers, some of the things that we're doing, some of our associate members. Uh, and what I did today was I did um, go and make some video. I called up a couple of our dealers and said, hey, would you like to do a quick introduction tonight and come on the show? And just say a little, a few little things. So some, we have, you know, now, now for the fans, we haven't really done something like this before. So I would be very interested in how you like these little segments. Cause I get in the back of my mind, I got another idea that look, listening to these people today and how well this worked out. I was thinking that what if every week we had, uh, say, uh, two, two questions or, or we pick out a question a week and then ask it of two of our dealers. Don't make it a long segment. Maybe it's only a five or six minute segment, but come up with a crazy question. And I, you know, if it's crazy, I can have Bernie come up with it. But you know, <laughs> if it's stupid. I can, and if I, if it's stupid, I can have John come up with it. So that there you go. But but then then call them up and do a little Zoom for two minutes and have the dealer answer it. So you get a chance to see a lot more of our dealers. But one of the ones, one of my favorites today was Olivia Meckelson. And I don't know if you know, folks know Meckelson RV uh, sales and rentals up in East Montpelier, Vermont. Uh, they're gener uh, all, Olivia and her sister Jen are third generation Meckelsons, and they are going to be taking over the, country, uh, the company when Bruce and Connie, her uncle, her father, and her aunt uh, move on, which may probably not be a couple of years, but Olivia just got her master's degree and has done some really nice things this summer working on some of the programs. So let me, let me show you what Olivia said. All right. This, this video is with Olivia Meckelson and uh, third generation family member. Olivia, welcome to the show. What do you got to say to our fans? And uh, you got Thank National you. Guard being day coming up on Saturday. Hi, yeah, so we're a third generation business. I am the third generation. Um, my grandparents started it back in 1967. Um, so we've been around for about 56 years. Um, we're in East Montpelier, Vermont. Um, and me and my sister Jenna are planning to take over and we're really excited um, for the future. Um, we plan to be around another 50 years. So we're really excited about that. Um, my dad and um, Bruce and my aunt Connie um, are the owners currently. so. They're starting to um, phase out, kind of take a step back and let us take over some of the responsibilities. Well, that's fantastic. I've known Bruce and Connie for a number of years, and uh, it's it's just that great family style type of business. Mm -hmm. You go in there, it's just like, you know, 
visiting you at their house and uh, no no high pressure. Uh, is there anything special on the lot or anything, any particular floor plans that uh, yeah. folks want to see? Go ahead. Yeah, um, right now our Salem Hemispheres have been super popular. That's our higher line of travel trailers. Um, in general, travel trailers have been really popular. Um, a lot of, we have a kind of a niche here. We have a lot of smaller travel trailers um, for people to, you know, start camping. We um, have the Sunset Park RV line. So those are all really small, you know, 21 feet and under. Um, we started carrying the Clipper travel trailers. So those are all about, you know, at least 30 feet and under. Um, so we have a lot of small travel trailers for couples, families that are really starting to go camping. Um, you know, that's our goal here in Vermont is to get people into camping, into travel trailers, you know, any way we can. So we have a lot in that size range um, for families and couples who are kind of like starting from, you know, they may have tent camps and now they're looking into upgrading into a travel trailer. Yeah. Um, so those are some of the lines. Good. Yeah, we posted something. Oh, no. on the <laughs> some of the lines, um, we have others, you know, we carry all the different Salem lines. So um, we have a ton of inventory on the lot. Um, currently, you know, everything is, you know, marked down um, to prices that are really competitive in the market. Um, so we're excited. We hope that people, you know, come and we'll look at our website, which is vtrv.com um, okay. going forward. And and you, I posted something the other day. You've got Clippers on sale this weekend too, right? Yeah. Well, yep. Our 12.0 TDs, um, they are, they're like a hybrid. They're like a mix between a pop-up and a little travel trailer. Um, we got three, you know, I think we have four total. We have three new ones on the lot and one used one. Um, all, I think the used ones are 2021 and the others are 2022s, but yeah, they're at blowout prices. Um, we would love someone to own them. That's, you know, maybe in a tent now and wants to upgrade a little bit. So they're that perfect unit for that kind of customer. All right. So folks get up there to East Montpelier, Vermont, see the Mechelson family and see Jen and Olivia and see what the next generation has to offer at Mechelson. <laughs> Olivia, thanks very yes, much. Thanks. Bob. Yeah. Thanks. Well, Bob, you know, you made a little tongue twister earlier, a little mistake, but maybe she will be taking over the country pretty soon because you did mention that. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to take over the dealership. You're like, she's going to take over the country. I'm like, yeah, okay. Let me, okay. See. Let me see if we, let me see if we left anybody uh, behind here. Boom, boom, boom. Air Force yeah, Jim Force. just popped in, which is good. And then mm -hmm. Pat, uh, Jim? Pat was talking about, you know, her trip on the way up here. So, yeah. So, okay. Hey, Tim, thanks for joining the show. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, thanks. For you know, one, one of the things that I tried to do with the, uh, the six interviews today was I wanted one in every New England state, but I wanted the small dealers. You know, the, the large dealers have big budgets, big marketing budgets. They tend to have a lot more information out there. But one of the things, and I've spoken about it before, but we are so fortunate in New England to have multi-generational dealerships third and fourth generations that have not sold out to uh, mega dealers or, you know, they just continue to run. They have a tremendous loyal following. So I, I want to kind of wanted to feature some of those. So maybe this Saturday, if you didn't have any plans for national go RVing being day, maybe you take a ride and, and visit one of them and see, see something that might be a little bit different or get to know some really great people in the, uh, in the business. Now, up in New Hampshire, where Bernie is, I did... Back in New Hampshire. Um, where are we? Chris Welper, uh, one of the owners at Route 125. Um, oh, yeah, one of our neighbors, yeah. yeah. One of your neighbors, Route 125 RV and Marine. And uh, let's, let's see what Chris had to say. All right, Chris Welper, Route 125 Marine and RV. Tell us a little bit about the dealership and, and what makes you unique and uh, what you're going to be doing this uh, Saturday for National Go RVing Day. So what we have coming up is we're doing our red tag sales event where campers are marked with red tags and customers can take even additional savings off of our already low prices. Um, and the biggest thing that we find with our dealership is being a small family run dealership after 30 years is that um, we don't do gimmicks like some other dealerships do. We don't charge fees at the end. We're not going to surprise you with any additional amounts for prep or freight or any of that stuff. We like to give just a price up front. And then the advantage of this weekend and for the rest of the month will be our red tag sales event where customers can save even more off of, you know, their new RV. So we offer that savings right up front. But 
this place started as a dirt lot in a Quonset hut 33 years ago and has grown and grown and grown little by little as Mike has grown it over the years. And now we carry a full line of fifth wheels, toy haulers, travel trailers, um, as well as our consignment business, which is if a customer doesn't want to sell their camper on their own, they can sign it to us. We sell it for them and we turn it into cash for them. That's always been a big part of your business. I remember going back way back to the uh, Bayside Expo Center. You'd had a big exhibit for consignments. And it's important now because a lot of people who jumped in with COVID may have decided that they didn't like the RV lifestyle and they want to have a want to be able to turn their unit over. Explain how, how consignment works to somebody that hasn't done it yet. Sure. Uh, so if a customer doesn't want to sell their camper on their own, they can either email in or call in, uh, ask about consignment. They will get transferred over to me. And then um, I just ask them some basic questions, the make, the model, the condition. And then we agree on a price that um, we're going to consign it for. And then when once we sell the unit, that price we agreed to, that's what we're going to write them a check for. We don't do fees or percentages or anything like that. So they don't write up front what they're going to get when the camper sells. That's fantastic. Chris, I appreciate it. And uh, tell them the address and the website where they can get a hold of you if they haven't uh, had a chance to visit the dealership yet. Sure. Uh, so uh, our address is our address is 343 Gonick Road in Rochester, New Hampshire. Uh, phone number is 603-335-0112. And our website is theroadiscalling.com. Chris, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Oh. All right. Well, that's a fascinating Quonset hut in a dirt lot. You know, sounds like a party I went to back in the 80s. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of good times. But, you know, yeah, I like the idea of a family-run business. And, uh, you know, they are your neighbors. And those are the people that are going to service you down the road, too, for sure. Yeah. You know, and you know, you you happen to be the largest family-run business campers in. Uh, I'm not. You know, I'm part of a team, part of a group. You're, yeah. you're, you're part of the team, but what's your sense up there in terms of how the season is going? Uh, what's popular with the, the the buyers that you're seeing? And uh, you know, it's it's definitely a little bit more of a competitive market than it has been over the last couple of years. We were kind of everyone had it kind of easy, right? For a little while when it came to selling RVs, it's like if you had one, they would buy it. And uh, and those times have changed, but it's great because now we have a much better selection uh, of RVs available to the customers and we can do our jobs better. We can help them really find the right camper, you know? So um, I know we were chatting a little bit earlier and like, and you were wondering, like, why do they call us RV matchmakers as opposed to RV salespeople at Campers Inn? Well, Campers Inn is, uh, you know, really finds it important that we spend time with the customer to understand what their true needs and wants are. And so we can help them find the right camper, not just sell them the most expensive thing with the best profit margin on the lot. It's, it's all about them and in getting to know them. And, and I think the customers get the feel of it too. They really start to uh, better understand why we're there. So they come in sometimes a little bit guarded, but once they've spent time with us and understand that we're on their side, you know, we're there for them and not, not for ourselves. We, you know, we focus on their needs first, and then uh, we usually have a great relationship and we're able to solve all their problems. So um, you know, it's, it's wonderful to work for campers in. We still act and, and run our business as a family business. And being at the Merrimack store, we have some of, of the most tenured employees in the whole company where we can get, you know, the reasons why Art and Friends founded that store back in 1966. Yep. So, when, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing to be part of that organization, to be truthfully with you. you yeah. know. Well, yeah. we, we, we're blessed with all of our dealers in terms yeah. of the way we treat people. We don't hear the horror stories that a lot of other places do in the country. Don Hawes says that uh, they've done tents, travel trailers, pop-ups, everything but a Class A or a fifth wheel. And he followed that up with Route 125 is where we bought our RV in 2015. They were awesome. That's, that's exactly that's why we, we have people like that. Uh, Jerry, going back to his uh, first comment about interesting places, 
Gene likes it. Frank Lloyd Wright houses in the big estates like the Biltmore. We always look for one of these at every stop. That, that's interesting because uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water in Pennsylvania, I think I've been there five times and I continue to be amazed. I can't remember how old it was, but anything by Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, one of the world's most creative architects, but some of his, right. some of his houses were simply uh, amazing. Uh, Allie's in tonight, and yeah, the Allie's in because now Allie's becoming a very big fan. That's that's why we like Spacious Skies, and uh, we're going to have a video coming up at the halfway mark probably on uh, Walnut Grove up in Maine, where uh, John visited, I think, a weekend or two before. So thanks for joining us, Allie. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, let me. So, go Bob would yeah. you mind if I jumped in on some of the other reasons that I find a lot of the people that I meet uh, have for going RVing, you know? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Yeah, so, You're an RVer, you sell them, you talk to people, go right ahead, Bernie. That's right. No, I appreciate that because to tell you the truth, one of the biggest reasons why people uh, decide to go RVing is because of their family, right? Um, they may have a couple of young kids that they want to expose to RVing and, and give them the experience that they had with their families uh, prior to. And then other times it's people that are a little bit older and their kids are growing up and they feel like they're losing touch with them a little bit. And this is a good way to kind of, you know, circle the wagons and bring the family back together and kind of strengthen that family unit. And that just the art of camping, whether you're sightseeing, which is wonderful, and I, I appreciate all the, you know, the input from uh, Jerry and everybody else that talks about that. But sometimes just sitting around the campfire, spending quality time, you know, cooking, you know, making s'mores, whatever it is, you know, having a couple of beers, a couple of laughs with your friends and family. That's sometimes the most important reason to go camping, to spend time with people that you really love, right? So you know, I didn't mean to get so sappy, buddy. <laughs> no, no, you know, but, but I've said this many times. It, the, the beauty of the RV lifestyle is you can turn it into whatever you want. It, it's important. I, I like to tell salespeople and they get mad at me. I said, but nobody buys an RV because they want an RV or they have to have an RV. They buy an RV to do something with it. Exactly. Right? Oh, There's a no. reason, yeah. We, we went camping a lot in Maine, and we have a park model in Maine. But when I go over that Pascatawa Bridge in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and I leave New Hampshire, and I get into Maine, it is like your blood pressure drops about 40 points in anticipation of getting there. So your your mind and your blood pressure are already working. You're already and, relaxing just on the trip over, right? right? And, and yeah. if you get there, I mean, it'll be the same glass of Jack Daniels that I can have at home. But guess what? It tastes a lot better under the trees with the campfire. You see it, the name. And your puppies on your lap, right? You, you have a couple of dogs, right? Yeah. I, well, I have two now. One, we had to put it to sleep a couple months ago, but I have, oh, I have one. Good. But Wally is uh, fast asleep on my lap. But you're right. Uh, it, Camping it's, and, and furry friends go hand in hand, for sure. Yeah. Speak, speaking about Maine, I had a chance to talk to Amanda Blow at Seacoast RVs today. All right, this time we're going to talk to Amanda Blow at Seacoast RVs. Amanda, great to have you. Uh, Saturday coming up, June t uh, June 10th, National Go RVing Day. What do you got in store? Oh, well, you know, we've got plenty of park models. We'd love to have people come down, learn more about the park model world, and show them everything that we have to offer here. Uh, we also have really great deals right now on our Winnebago towables. We have... Um, two micro mini flexes. We have one hike flex, which um, those are, are pretty rare out there right now. Um, so we're, we would love to see some people come in and check us out, especially if you haven't been there before and, and see what we have to offer. And you just came off of an open house a couple of weeks ago, and I understand that was uh, very successful. You had people all week, Saturday and Sunday there. We did. Yeah, we had a great open house, a lot of fun, radio stations, food trucks, things like that. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, movement around the park models and just, you know, getting to meet new people and showing them what we have. Yeah. And I missed your father's kettle corn, too. And he, ne oh. he never and he never sent me any afterwards. So pl oh, please, no. please remind him of 
of that. I know. will be happy to remind him of that. He was he was mixing it up. We've got yeah, some they, funny they, were having, it. they were having fun. And you're doing some uh, spots on Seacoast our Seacoast TV on, on the radio stations up there too. Yeah, our um our radio state local radio station does um a bit with us called Seacoast RV TV. It's on our website. Um, we just filmed our next one that should be coming out, uh, I think, in a few weeks. That's that's fantastic. Uh, for people who haven't made the trip up to Saco, Maine, uh, tell them your website, your telephone, and and where they can come up and visit uh, Seacoast RV. Sure. We're located right on Route 1, uh, 729 Portland Road in Saco. Our website is www.seacoastrv.com, and our phone number is 207 207- Two eight two three five one one. Amanda, thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks, Bob. Now, see that if Amanda had sent you that popcorn, you could be giving them another plug right now, and it helps like wash the whiskey down, right? You have a bite of popcorn, sip of whiskey. Life is good. They well, missed out on a great opportunity. <laughs> John, John did one of his contract appearances. You know. Years ago, the radio and TV personalities did those kind of promotions at things. So John John has a package that he makes available to our Nervda members through his own marketing company. And he's on site during open houses from 9 to, 9 to noon. He does a video of the, the owners, the sales reps, the manufacturers reps, the customers, whatever. He has a great time with it. It runs from 9 to 12. Uh, and uh, they... He was up there and he, he did one on the kettle corn and I was salivating because I, I love kettle corn and it's a big favorite. You can't you cannot go to a fair in Maine, probably same true as New Hampshire, but without having somebody doing kettle corn. And oh yeah. You yeah. know, I was following John in between customers on that Saturday morning. You know, I yeah. probably shouldn't have been watching him so closely. But <laughs> he's he's really good. And anybody ever needs that kind of service, John is phenomenal. And he's so engaging, and, and, and it's easy to talk to uh, yeah. in, in what he does. So, yeah. That, that, that's his radio and TV personality coming out. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It, I did promise that John sent us a video. Yeah. And I do oh, have. Say hi to Randall, though. He just joined us a little while ago. Mr. Murray? Yeah, Mr. Murray showed up. Oh, all right. Hi, Randy. Good to have you there. And Allie, Allie. Yeah, there he is. She's still hanging in there now, but she might be dropping out soon. Ali says, I'm about to board a plane, uh, so if I drop off, that's why. Well, let me get let me then let me get right to Allie's and see if she can catch it before hey, she everybody, goes. we are in the beautiful state of Maine. Tell us exactly where we are, Bailey. We're at Spacious Skies Walnut Grove. And who do you have with you? I have Mason Jordan with me, our general manager. And I just got a quick tour here, and I'm absolutely amazed at everybody seems so comfortable here. You know, you go to some campgrounds, and, and they have a corporate feel, but everybody, you know, was waving at us in the, uh, in the golf cart and, uh, and having fun. So tell us corporately what Spacious Skies is and, um, you know, where they're located. Yeah, so I'm actually really fortunate to be sitting at Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove was our first campground in the collection back in 2021. We have 15 now. Um, and yeah, and that Wait, field, wait, 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 wait. Just in six, seven years? In, no. Well, 2021 in, in three, three years. years. Yep, that's right. And how many now? 15. Okay, so you're doing something right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, we're lucky. Right. Good help, right? That's Good right. help. As he raises his hand when I said that. So where do they range from? Where... Um, you know, I know we're in Maine, but I think there are some even farther north than us, right? That's right. We have um, Spacious Guys Balsam Woods is in Abbott, Maine, and then we go as far south as Tennessee and Georgia um, with Spacious Guys Savannah Oaks and Spacious Guys Bow Ridge. It's a lot of different accents on the way down the East Coast. It sure is. Exactly. So, Mason, tell us about this particular property because I know this is your specialty. Absolutely. Um, number of. Um, facilities and um, ratio between seasonals and people that come in and out on weekends? Sure, so we have 96 sites total here, uh, scattered between 30 amp and 50 amp. We have 38 seasonals, which are all booked for this year, um, and then the rest are weekend or nightly stay guests. 
Uh, for our new amenities, we have a jump pillow, a new playground, and gem mine, as well as renovated bathrooms. So we're really excited to improve our You know, the funny thing with bathrooms is people don't realize that uh, bathrooms are a very, very important reason why people come to a campground, even even with self-contained units, right? That's right. So you've spared no expense. No, and we did it over this past winter, which was really special for our seasonal guests that returned. We had 30 seasonal guests return out of 38, and so they were pretty excited with okay. the renovations. The jump pillow. Yep. Talk about that. Everybody loves that, even even if you're big and should be on it. Right? Absolutely. The jump pillow is something we do through all the whole collection of spacious guys. Uh, my son personally loves it. I have to rip him off of it if I want him to go inside for lunch. But, yeah, it's, it's definitely a people pleaser, and the kids will be on it from sun up to sundown. And that playground, it looks looks brand, brand new. It is. We uh, just put that in last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And as we're here, there are families of all different ages in the pool behind us. Memorial Day weekend, pool's got to be open. Bright sunshine, not a cloud in these spacious skies. That's absolutely right. Um, so tell us where we are, Mason, uh, specifically geographically where we are here. So we are in Alfred, Maine. We're about 30 miles from the coast of Maine um, and only a, a, like 20 or so miles from the New Hampshire border. We're about an hour and a half from Boston. In a closer range, we're 10 minutes to Sanford. 30 minutes to Wells, 40 minutes to Old Orchard, and also 40 minutes to Portland. Um, so we're pretty centrally located for anything you'd like to do outside of the park too. Okay, so you're close enough to attractions, but far enough away from, you're not gonna hear the main turnpike or Interstate 95 or uh, any major highways that are uh, right behind the tree line, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Exactly right. Okay. So how can people book? So you can book online at spaciousguyscampgrounds.com. We just renovated our booking platform, so you can book multiple locations. And then you can also join our Cosmic Camper Loyalty Program. We offer 12% discount uh, for any guests joining, which is perfect for just a few nights stay. It makes the discount um, just cherry on top. Great. So Mason, here's your time to say thank you for joining us here at uh, at our facility we hope to see you more this summer go ahead thank you for joining us here at spacious guys walnut grove we hope to see you all here this summer hey everybody we uh... <laughs> wow that was a wonderful video I, I just thought that was fantastic john always does a brilliant job of interviewing people and the way he edited that video uh, i'm very proud of his skills on that but he's, uh, he's, he's getting better and better at that you're right Absolutely. Now, if I ended up getting one of those bouncy pillows in my front yard, would you come and visit me and jump on it with me? No. <laughs> that, that, I think yeah. it, I think it's brilliant. What a great idea. My jumping, my jumping days are over, Bernie. Yeah, I just roll around and I'll jump around you and you'll go flying. Yeah. All he says, thank, so proud of our team. She should be. Thank you, yeah. John, for being such a lovely guest. Yeah, he's he's not bad, Allie. He, you know, he's he's not as nice as Bernie and I, but you know, we wanted to try you out with John first. He's a keeper, he, yeah. Well, before we send the A team up there, we thought we'd send John up there. That'll 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 rattle him. But she's happy. That was a, a great video, a good representation of what they're all about. Yeah. Good seasonal transient mix there. Yeah, it was ninety six, and I think thirty eight is is a good one. Uh, and, and seasonal and destination camping, you know, is becoming very popular. There's a lot of campgrounds that are taking their transient sites, their overnight sites, and making them seasonal sites because they're getting interest in destination trailers and, and park models. Now, I don't think you guys sell any park models, Bernie, but do you, no. have, you got any destination trailers up in Merriway? Um, you know, New England? we carry them for a while, but we have them at a Kingston store. So you're not in Merrimack, but uh, if you go to Kingston, they have a great selection of uh, Sierra um, and Puma destination trailers, and they're lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 are very popular because some people don't want to travel anymore, and they they want to have some place that's the same place every week. And it's also good for kids. You know, it's not just for the older people that that don't want to travel or tow a trailer or drive a motorhome. But oh yeah, there's many many families now. The place I'm at in Maine, Seacoast Resort, uh, that is. There's no age restriction on on that one. 
and but it's it's all park models, so it tends to be a more mature uh, audience. Yeah, but it's a, it's a different thing. But we find that a lot of our customers more and more are going seasonal. You know, they just love the convenience of it, where they can travel an hour, you know, forty five minutes to an hour away from home, and they have a summer home. That's already ready to go. It doesn't have to be a 40 footer, you know, uh, 10 feet wide or whatever it may be. And they still have that home away from home for their whole family. And it's brilliant. I think it's well, a wonderful it, economic you know, way to do it. We use it as a second home. It's got, you know, we have our own clothes. We got our own pots and pans and dishes. It's got everything that a regular home would have. And, and the park model itself is by law, 400 square feet. Uh, we put a 400 square foot sunroom on it. We oh put my a goodness! <laughs> square foot deck on it, so I got a 1,200 square foot second home. That that's know, as big as my house almost. <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, so, you know, I did, I Allie did. wants to know if 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 they passed the test, and I believe they definitely passed a test. Whatever it was, they passed. Oh, absolutely passed the test, and and. John's good like that because he guides guides people through even if they're not comfortable. He makes sure that they get a question that they can answer. But they did it, an outstanding job representing Walnut Grove. And, you know, one of the things that, that's really nice about Walnut Grove, and I, I have not camped there, but I certainly know the main New Hampshire area. The way that John brought out the distance from major places, like I say, it's only an hour and a half from Boston. You can be in Portland in 40 or 45 minutes. Right. You can be at Portland Head Light. So, a lot of people like that. They don't necessarily have to stay where all the action is. Like maybe they don't want to camp in Old Orchard Beach. It's nice, but in the summertime, it's crazy and there's a lot of people. And yes, there's a lot of campgrounds, a lot of people, a lot of kids. Go over to Alfred, just a short distance away. You're in the middle of the woods. It's quiet. And then when you decide you want some activity, you you go to the places that you want to go to. And uh, that's got a lot of merit to it. A lot of people go camping to hear the crickets, the tree frogs, and, and the birds, you know, the, the peace and quiet, right? right. So that sounds like a wonderful place to do that and still have a place for the kids to have a good time and stay out of trouble. Yeah. And uh, so what, was, what was Don talking about with this? Bob needs some place that is 90 minus. That, I, I have a feeling that's derogatory. Bob needs some place that is 90 minus. He's probably talking about my Florida place, but uh, oh, the temperature wise, okay, good. 90, it was only uh, 95 here today, so uh, oh, okay, and it's, well, been, yeah. Yeah. it's been in the mid 90s for about two weeks now, so July kind of came early. But you know, staying on the topic of destination campus, that actually came up in my conversation with Brad Moore. All right, I am with Brad Moore, and he's nice enough to spend some time with us tonight on RVing in New England. Brad, you got a great company history there. You're a great family business here in New England. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, first, Bob, thanks. I'm honored to have you uh, dial me up and uh, allow me to talk a little bit about our, our 61-year-old company in the RV business. Uh, Dad started it uh, in 62. He's 98. He's still kicking. And uh, back here in Brockton, uh, we're just, uh, we're making a lot of people happy, cliche, the old fashioned way. Uh, <laughs> every deal is personal. Uh, we know your name, uh, people um, in the first office, the doors open, my phone's always on. Uh, you can reach someone here, but you, you know, know, we're not, not a ghost. Yeah. It's, it's funny because every time I post something, about you or Bradford RV, you tend to get more responses than anything else that that Nerve to publishes. The, really, you're a legend, and, and and people, your customers absolutely love you. I mean, it's it's fantastic. You know, when you stretch a company over that many years, and you can maintain that level of customer service and support, and and it's it, if there was a Cheers in Brockton, Mass, you'd have the bar stool at the end of the bar. How's that? Well, and and it's 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 a small side order of me. It's the people that work for Bradford's that uh, truly make the difference. They're all pros. We, you know, all our sales reps are there to help you pick out a nice camper. Uh, Ray, you, you certainly know Ray. He's the best in the industry in finance. Uh, he'll 
get comfortable financing for you. Uh, it's it's really the people all the way down to the shop, you know, uh, in service. It's it's just the it's just the old deal that uh, a lot of people are looking for in this this day of consolidation and chain stores and uh, no one. So many chain stores. There's no one that has anything to do with RV even works there. It's just it's just a it's just a job. Yeah. So what what is hot on the lot these days? What what are you uh, having great success with? I know you're very dedicated to the lines that you've carried through the years. We've had Forest River Wildwood for a long time. We've had Keystone Passport since its inception in uh, 2007. We have a little bit of KZ product here. Uh, certainly Heritage Glen, which is a Wildwood product, has is, is been good for me for since its inception. Uh, yeah. So I'm very dedicated to these lines. Uh, bunkhouses, for sure. Um, but we, you know, we do a good job with destination trailers. And, you know, folks love that as a, as a summer cottage at their permanent campground site. Um, and Wildwood makes some very, very unique. I know you saw that 42 view model. It's incredible. Uh, it double lofted, two staircases, has a, has a, a spiral staircase in it. Uh, uh, it's just incredible. Too bad. nothing else. It, it's, like a mo- it's like a motel, Brad. It is. And <laughs> it, 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 uh, the manufacturer list is a little bit over 100, 101 with freight. And we've got it for just under 80,000. I think it's 79,616. Where, where else can you get a second home? with that much luxury and that many amenities to it. It's yep. pretty spectacular. And uh, fortunately, I have two in stock now. I've got a smaller destination trailer, a 35, and also a, uh, a 39F den, they call it. And that's got a 17-foot slide in the front and a bedroom slide, of course, in the back. Uh, just opens up. Uh, you know, it has to fit in the 400-square-foot rule, but it's it's all living, a couple's trailer. Just beautiful. Fantastic. Look at it. Thanks for taking some time tonight. And uh, all you fans out there, Saturday is National Go RVing Day. Take a trip down to Brockton, Mass. Say hello to Brad and the team. And Brad, will catch up to you down the road. Thank you very much, Bob. Bob, you know, I'm really uh, amazed that each one of these videos is spectacular. You know, we get to see the real people behind the dealerships. And uh, and each one of them is a unique, authentic person that you interviewed so far. And I, I appreciate you sharing all that with me, you know, yeah. with all of us. And look at yeah. Willie Miller just showed up. How about that? Who did? Willie Miller. Willie Miller? Willie Miller, I walk in with your wheelers down my street. Yeah, that guy. Now, now Willie, you, you forgot the cardinal rule of our being in New England. If you show up late, you have to apologize. Now, I know you're busy. I know Heartland keeps you very busy, and we got Willie's podcast. And If you haven't listened to Willie's podcast, Living the Dream, I forget. What is he it now? He knows so many things <laughs> every day. It's hard to keep <laughs> up with it. He's like posting five yeah, or six we'll, things every day. We'll, we'll post up uh, Willie's podcast for you, but Willie's kind of the uh, Mr. Heartland RV. He does some phenomenal right. videos on – products and team people and he'll interview people okay that's that's better Watching that's life's better. Better. He'll, he'll interview jason lippert or some of the managers at heartland uh just a great way of of bringing some reality to the brand and i'm, I'm glad he joined us tonight because it kind of fits in the theme that you just mentioned bernie you, we're bringing personalities out and showing showing the real people of the world tonight which is phenomenal yeah, he's he's the hardest working RV entertainer on the planet. This guy, you know, yep. he gives out so much information every single day. Uh, everything's pertinent, but he keeps you engaged. Know, I, I got a funny feeling DePietro would probably argue that would because DePietro DePietro would tell us he's the hardest working guy in in the RV industry. But I'll uh, bet. But I'll, I'll bet, know. it's pretty close. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bet Willie doesn't eat spaghettios. <laughs> So that's no, uh, it's Chef that was, Boy ID, right? Chef Boy ID. You know, yeah. Isn't this SpaghettiOs Chef Boy ID? No, that's a different thing altogether. That's how Franco you know, American. Hey, Bernie, how do you know that? I don't know. That. I used to eat them like when I was a kid. That was like that was a big deal. 
How do you know SpaghettiOs isn't Chef Boyardee? How do I know? Because SpaghettiOs are little circle o things, and Chef Boyardee are the, those lousy raviolis that no, taste no, like Chef food Boyardee stuff. Has, has different types, I thought. We'll have to, we'll, I'm sure John will clarify it for us next week to do that. But yeah. I, I do have a couple of more videos, but going back to what we said at the beginning, I would really like some feedback from our fans if they like this concept. Now, we're not going to do five or six every week. This one fit the mold because we want to talk about and generate interest in National Go RVing Day. But if I, if I, every week I had, say, I picked out a question about the industry or about campgrounds, and I did two quick two minute interviews with our dealers so that you get to see their personalities too. Uh, Jerry would, knows. Would you like that? Oh, oh so we get this. Jerry knows a Campbell Soup Company. They, yeah. There you go. It's they a completely live. different. Don't, don't have to wait for the people. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't do that. We, we don't have to wait. So, what are we at? 748. All right. Let me, let me jump. Uh, Hang it out, buddy. You know, so, I have, I'm going to let you pick. Uh, Bernie. Okay. I have oh, yeah. two left. We're going to show both of them, but which one would you like first? I've got Jim Tarrow from Arlington RV, or I've got okay. Todd Emerson from Longview RV. Wow. I haven't heard much from uh, Mr. Arrow before, so let's let's do that one. From Jim Arlington. Tarrow at Arlington RV? Arlington, yeah. Okay, so we're visiting with Jim Tarrow, president of Arlington RV Supercenter in Rhode Island. Jim, thanks for joining us for a little discussion here on National Go RVing Day, which is coming up Saturday. But, uh, you know, some people may not you know you or Arlington RV. Tell us a quick 30-second overview. Sure. We're uh, third generation. Actually, my I guess, uh, you know, our kids would be fourth generation, but uh, we've been open. This is our 75th year. Started in uh, 1948 uh, by our our you know our grandparents at the time, and um, you know we're we're here in Little Old Rhode Island, and uh, we're a traditional family run business in that you know we we focus on customer service over everything else. Yep, and it's it's been a tremendous run for the 75 years. Uh, I knew many of the members of the family, and uh, it's it's been great to watch you grow. As as we look forward to uh, Saturday, what what types of products are you carrying down there, and uh, why should people come by and say hello and get to meet you, know you better come Saturday? Sure, we we have a, a kind of a good uh, you know, variety of products in that we carry both motorized and towable products, uh, both in uh, traditional. Uh, you know, bumper pull as people call them, but, you know, traditional travel trailers as well as fifth wheel products. Uh, we have small and large. We have, um, uh, we have basically anything you could want as far as camping goes. Uh, the only stuff we really don't carry is, is, um, uh, like slide in campers and, and, uh, such, but that's, uh, just not, not something we've traditionally dealt with. However, um, you know, we, we carry uh, all the major brands. Uh, we've been a Winnebago dealer since uh, the early 70s. We're one of the oldest Winnebago dealers in the country. Um, and uh, we're, we're proud to have that product on, on site here. Yeah. And, you know, one of the other things that uh, a lot of people may not know, but your grandfather, Jack Moran, was actually one of the original founders of the RV Dealer Association. He was very active in getting that going. So I, I could say I wouldn't even have this job if it wasn't for your grandfather, Jim. Yeah, you know, and, and there's there's a brick at the RV Hall of Fame with his name on it, actually. So <laughs> that's right. All right, so folks, drop down Saturday uh, National Go RVing Day down at Arlington RV. Uh, telephone number, website address, Jim. Sure. Yep we're uh, we're right on Route Two in in Warwick, Rhode Island. Um, right across from Cardi's, uh, our telephone's 401-884-7550. And our website is www.arlingtonrv.com. Thanks very much, Jim. We'll see you down the road. All right. Thanks, Bob. Another fine video from Robert. Excellent can, work. Can you imagine being 75 years old? Oh, my gosh. I, I think I, I was talking to Jim. You got him beat by that much. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you know, beat. I think that uh, he, he they're the oldest that, that of all of our members. I know 
Uh, Longview, who will will catch Todd Emerson here soon, but Longview is at sixty four years this year. Wow! They were they were formed in nineteen fifty nine. You guys at Campers Inn uh, was founded fifty seven, I think. Yeah, sixty six. Yeah, sixty six. Yeah, sixty six, but it's fifty seven years. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Doing yeah. the math. <laughs> Doing a little bit of math on the back of the envelope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see if we get uh, no no more comments there. Okay, we can do that. Excellent. So let's do Todd Emerson at Longview, and then we'll wrap up some people. Yep. All right, I've got Todd Emerson with me from Longview RV, longtime friend, longtime nerve to supporter. Todd, we got National Go RVing Day coming up on Saturday. There's a big buzz with the RV dealers, the campgrounds, consumers. What do you think about it? And uh, maybe you want to tell us a little bit about Longview. Yeah, we're pretty excited for uh, for Saturday. Um, you know, we got our full line of inventory in, uh, some new products uh, set for debut, some old products still there. Um, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're geared up and ready for National uh, RVing Day. Frank's down in Washington right now uh, representing us. So, uh Hopefully, he'll come back with some good news we can share and we can uh, put out on the lot for the consumers. Yeah, would you would you agree with me that this is probably the lowest we've seen prices in five years? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think that the dealers and uh, the manufacturers definitely uh, now have 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 uh, done some pretty nice concessions on the pricing, so it's making it. Uh, it's making a rough time in 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 in, in the country uh, uh, seem promising for for our viewers. So we're we're we've kicked off the unofficial start to camping in New England. Yeah. What have you seen on the lot, and and what are people what are people buying from Longview these days? You know what? It's not one particular uh, type. Um, we've seen a good variety from from diesel motorhomes. Uh, class C's have finally started to pick up, so I think uh, I think more families are jumping into the motorized um, trailers and fifth wheels. They've always always done really well for us, um, but yeah, I think the motorized has uh, has has blossomed nicely here uh, at the tail end of May into June. So it's promising. Super. So if people don't know about Longview, and I can't imagine. There's people out there that don't seem that you've been out there for 64 years from 19, 1959. So uh, tell them website, telephone number, how to get a hold of you and come visit you. Because I know I, so, I, I know you're right off the ramp and right on the price. Or did right, I off the highway, right off the highway. Right off the highway. Right on the price. <laughs> We're located in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Uh, you can reach us at www.longviewrv.com. Uh, it's our website. It's always up to date. Um, and if not, you can call into the office at 800-516-9058, where there's always a friendly voice on the other end of the phone. That's fantastic. Todd, thanks for jumping on for a couple of minutes to tell us about Longview. Always nice to talk to you, Bob. Take care. Bye. Wow. They just... They just keep on coming. How did they get so blurry? What did you do? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Did you? I didn't uh, sneeze on my camera or anything. So excited so that you whacked your computer or your camera? I don't think so. But let's see. What, what, whatever it is, um, I apologize for the blurriness. But uh, looks like well, I didn't touch it. And uh, it, it maybe is just like maxing out my RAM or something. Who knows, right? I, I, I don't know. I have no. Oh, there we go. I'm back. I'm back to myself again. Yeah. So it must have heard me talking and decided just to straighten itself well, up. It, it possibly could have been your bandwidth. Could have been the bandwidth. See, so if, my wife's if, probably streaming three things at the same time right now. So that's what's going on. <laughs> so since everybody else gave their little plug burning, tell them uh, if they want to come up and visit with you on Saturday and yeah. see, what, see, see you in person, get a signed date by two. You keep those uh, black and white photographs in the drawer so that you can sign autographs. When oh, yeah. I have a good like good 10-inch stack of those just to yeah. make sure they're available when people need them, right? But oh. um, no, we just... We, to, tell them how to get a hold of you. 
Yeah, so just love to meet up with any of you folks, uh, any of your friends, too. Just send them to Uncle Bernie at Campers Inn in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Uh, you can reach me uh, by writing or, um, yeah, bculliton at campersin.com. And that way we can set up an appointment. I love appointments because that way I can ensure that I'm going to give you the quality time that you deserve to help look for your RV. Because a lot of folks will come in and unfortunately we can't, you know, take two or three customers at the same time. So, you know, then you get stuck with my partner, Bob, but he's a good guy too. So, and I hope Melinda's watching because Melinda is one of our fans here on RVing in New England as well. But uh, yeah, just love to meet up with anybody who just wants to come by and say hi. And if Willie is around or Jerry or someone who's just driving through the neighborhood wants to come by and see me, I can't thank him enough. But well, one, thing, yeah, one thing I wanted to bring up is that, you know, it's our responsibility to perpetuate this whole idea and philosophy of what makes RVing so great. So spend some time this weekend. Remember the Go RVing campaign. And let's share the good news with everybody. Yep. And, and one thing that you mentioned, which is important, that they, it'd be good to make an appointment. I, I think that, you know, we have a lot of people, society causes people to have a lot of short fuses now. And when, when you have to make an appointment with somebody, then it's not that that person's in, an important person, but it's, it's a person that people want to talk to and are willing to spend the time with. So I always consider that a badge of honor. If I happen to be in a store and I was unannounced, I just stopped to go in and somebody said, well, so-and-so tied up with a customer. That's fantastic. That's, then take as much time as you want and, and do it. And I know, I know you do that at Campers Inn and I know your customers appreciate it. So, well, yeah, yeah, you want to give the people who spent the energy to make an appointment, like, all your attention, right? You don't want to be distracted. You want to give them your all while they're there in front of you. So, yep, it's it's a good point. So we do expect Mister DePetro to be back next week. Uh, and uh, Bernie, I want to thank you for filling the chair once again as our co-host. And uh, folks, if you got some last comments that you want to put in, let us know if you like the uh, show format. Let us know what your thoughts are as far as go RVing this weekend. And we will see you all next week, Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And thanks very much for joining. And, Willie, thank you very much for jumping on here tonight. Any yeah, closing words? Great night. Thank you so much, Bob, for having me. And, you know, just that you invite me onto this show is a great privilege, and I can't thank you enough. So keep up the good work, and we'll talk again real soon, I'm sure. All right. Take care now. This edition of RVing in New England was a presentation of the New England RV Dealers Association. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.